Hello and welcome everyone to 2020 Flight Simmers and their second episode today using the DC-6 and uh, today's tutorial is going to be on the pre-flight checklist as well as engine start. So today uh, we're at uh, Orlando Executive K-O-R-L and uh, this is custom scenery. I will post a link down below so if you'd like to take a look at that uh, feel free to do so. And by the way, if this is your first time joining us, I uh, would ask you to go down and hit that subscribe button while you're down there. And uh, also click that little bell, you'll get notified on all of our future videos coming up here on the DC-6 and other future aircraft. So again, let's thank everybody for joining us and let's hop in the cockpit of the DC-6 now. Alright, now that we're in the cockpit, uh, we're not going to be using track IR today because it just complicates things that much more. Uh, we're not really going to be using the EFB uh, much anymore other than to uh, load some fuel and other things. We are not going to be using the uh, artificial flight engineer through any of our processes. So stick with us and let's get this thing fired up. So first thing, uh, we're going to skip a lot of the uh, uh, a lot of the pre-check because most of it is uh, let's just make sure that everything's turned off and yeah, it's off. Okay, uh, we already know that mostly everything is going to be turned off in the aircraft. And if you're not sure, you can come right down here to uh, Ramp Manager and uh, hit Cold and Dark. If I can click on it. Hit cold and dark, and now everything is set up for your cold and dark. All right, so let's start running down the checklist here. And by the way, if anybody has any questions while we're going through this, go ahead and pop them down in the comments, and I will get right back uh, with you on those. We're going to start with the uh, ground-powered pre-flight checks. So we're going to go ahead and make sure that the uh, radio circuit breakers, oh, they're on. Uh, radio master switches, they're off. Uh, we can verify they're, they're turned off. Uh, ground power light is on, and the ground, and we're also going to turn on all the generators, that was also part of the uh, pre-flight check. So now that we got the uh, ground power and the battery on, uh, the master battery, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, check our voltage and make sure that we have 24 volts, and we've got a little bit more than 24 volts, so we're good. All right, uh, we're not going to do the fire check warning because that's just going up here and uh, hitting all these little fire buttons. And you can check each one of your uh, fire systems. We know that they all work. So we're going to check the pedo and scoop heaters. I'm going to turn the switch on and then select each position and check and make sure we got the proper amp draw. So we should have 19 to 28. We do. 15 to what's that say 15 to 21 and we do 5 to 10 we've got that and 11 to 16 uh, we are just a little over and we've got that so we're going to go ahead and turn us back to captain pedo and static and turn off the pedo heaters so now that they've been checked we're going to go ahead and move on to the fuel system uh, we're going to go ahead and make sure that uh, all of our fuel tank selectors are in the main and that our cross feeds are off. While we're here, we're going to uh, check the reverse lights. So we're going to just tap on each one of these prop reverse lights and they are good. Next, we're going to make sure that the landing gear is down and we're also then going to go up and check manual prop de-icing. Uh, so that'll be right up here. Uh, that system is off, but now we're going to do a check on that. So we're going to turn the uh, manual pipe de-icing on, and we're going to go to each uh, propeller, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And as we turn on each of those, we should have 140 to 200 amps um, on each uh, propeller. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. They look good. We're going to go ahead and turn that off, close our safeties, and that checks our manual prop de-icing. We're going to go ahead and check our inverters now. So we're going to go ahead and flip on inverter 1. We're going to pop over here to the side, and we're going to look at our voltage. So we're going to turn this to phase C, and we're going to check and make sure we have about 115 volts, uh, plus or minus, and that we are getting about 26 uh, volts over here. All right, so that checks out good. 
We're going to go ahead and flip us back up. We're going to now check our inverter number two. Do the same thing. Flip it to the other side. Make sure that we have the correct voltage. We do. We do. Flip us back. Okay, so that checks inverters one and two. Uh, fuel system, fuel oil, hydraulic, and ADF fluid quantity. ADI fluid quantity. Uh, so that is all right here. So we're going to make sure our anti-icing is good, auxiliary oil is good, and our water injection is good. Our oil reserve is good. So that looks like we're ready to go. Next, we're going to make sure that all the inverters are off. They are all off. We're going to now check the emergency inverter, so we're going to pop this down. We're going to run over here now, and we're going to check and make sure that we have the same, about 115 volts we do. Perfect. Go back up here and turn that noisy thing off. Smoke detectors are checked, cow flaps, check positioning, then open. So we're going to open all of our cow flaps now. Perfect. Now that we got our cow flaps, uh, the next thing is the fuel system. So we are checking the boost pumps. Uh, boost pumps are off, so that's good. We already set our mains on. Cross feeds are off. Prop selector and master lever. We're going to go down here and turn the prop selector to two, and then we're going to go full down on the prop pitch. And we're going to make sure that none of these lights go out. Full up on the prop pitch. Make sure none of the lights go out. And then we're going to go over to three. Do the same thing. Make sure none of the lights go out. All right. So that tests our prop selector and master lever is good. All right. Next thing. Landing lights extended, checked, then off. So we're going to come to the landing lights. We are going to extend them. We're going to check them. We can come right here to the outside. We can see that the landing lights are extended and on checked. We're also using a beautiful Delta livery today. So we can go ahead and turn those off now. Perfect. Navigation lights on, check, then off. Wheel lights on, check, then off. Uh, those are up here. We're not going to uh, turn them on and back off again. Same thing with the wing, beacon door warning and battery master switch as required. Alright, so that uh, performs all of our battery checks. Now main cabin check. Windows, emergency exits, cargo doors, tail compartment, everything is closed. Alright, we're going to skip the exterior pre-flight. We don't need any of that. And uh, we're going to move down now to the uh, before start check. Logbook and gear pins are on board. Battery selector switch is on ground power. Inverters now will get flipped up on normal. So we can go ahead and rock our inverter switch and our engine instruments. Okay. Next gear is three and indicated. Three down. Perfect. All right. We're going to check uh, the brake pressure. Now here is one thing that we are not going to be able to do uh, in the simulator is we're not going to be able to purge the uh, pressure in the brake system. Uh, so usually what we will do if we don't have any pressure here, uh, we will come down here, turn this to pressure accumulator, go ahead and flip this, nope, not that, go ahead and flip this little switch down here, but you can't get to the switch for it. And that would turn on the uh, auxiliary pump and get your pressure up. Uh, but again, we don't have that, so we can't do that. Seat belts and shoulder harnesses are on and checked. Hydraulic selector uh, is in the brake position. So that's right down here. We'll also make sure that the hydraulic bypass is down. That's perfect. Carburetor heat is in cold. Mixtures in idle and cutoff. Perfect. Fuel system mains are on, cross feeds checked, props, we check that. Fuel quantity, we're going to go ahead and check our fuel quantity right now. We've got fuel, perfect. Ignition switches are all in the off position. Cow flaps are set. Door and warning lights are out. Flight instruments and radios on, set, and checked. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. All right, they are set and checked. We're also going to come down here and turn this on. All right, that is set. 
come down here and turn our transponder on. We'll just put it in the on mode for right now. Perfect. Okay, and we're also going to set our altimeter. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and hit the B button to do that. And there we go. Okay, flight instruments, radios. All right, position lights. We're going to be turning those on and steady. Position lights are on and steady. Anti-collision light is on. Wing lights. We're going to turn our wing lights on. All right. We're going to come down and take a look at our manifold pressure. Manifold pressure should be about what your barometric pressure is on the outside. We're going to take that down and note it. Next, we are getting ready for engine start now. So to help me out with the engine start procedure, I'm going to go ahead and take each one of these mixtures and we're going to put them on rich right now so I don't have to keep going from top to bottom. All right, perfect. I'm going to go ahead and crack our throttles to about an inch open. Perfect. Set. Then we're going to always start with uh, engine three. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the engine three boost pump in the low position. I'm going to set our engine selector here to three. And we're going to do us another favor and turn our magneto switch on to both right now. And then when we're ready to go, one other thing I forgot, we can even open these windows up. Give us a little more noise in the cockpit here. So, now before we go try to start anything, we're going to go and verify that we have fuel pressure on number three, and we do. So we are good. While we're here, we can also check our lights for our water injection right here. Right, and they are all working fine. Perfect. So we're going to go ahead and get us started now. We're going to go ahead and hit the safety. It'll automatically hit the start. Once we hit 12 blade turns, um, we're going to hit the prime and the boost and should fire right up. Three. Six. Five. Twelve. And there she is. She is fired up and running. So now we're going to go ahead and turn that boost pump off. Turn number four on. Turn our engine selector to four and our magneto switch on number four. Everybody's ready. We're going to go ahead and hit it. Actually, we got to wait for these to reset. Now we can go ahead. Number four start. We're going to now turn us to number two. Both. Check our fuel pump. And actually, we should be coming down here after each engine start and monitoring. Make sure we have oil pressure on each engine and checking our oil temperature. We can come over here and check our idle RPM. So we're going to bring number three down a little bit. We want to keep them about a thousand RPM. Now that we have uh, checked our fuel pressure, we have pressure on number two. So let's get up there and start number two. Magnetos are on, let's go ahead and hit it. Three, six, five, twelve. Alright, so number two is fired up. Come down here, make sure we have oil pressure in number two. Oil temperature's coming up. Temperatures are coming up in uh, three and four. And we have RPM coming up on number two. Looks good. Also check our fuel pressure, make sure we're good. So, everything looks good down here. We're gonna go ahead and get our last engine fired up. So that will be engine number one, engine selector to one, and magnetos to both. And we can hit the starter. Three, six, five, twelve. All 
right. Looks like uh, we got everything started. Got some traffic coming in here. We're going to come down and check our engines again and see what's going on. Make sure we have oil pressure in all the engines and make sure our temperatures are coming up, and they are. So the last thing that uh, we're going to do is clean up the uh, upper panel here. Turn our engine selectors off and our fuel pumps off. We can also turn the ground power off now to the plane. And ladies and gentlemen, we have now started a DC-6. And if you made it this far, I want to thank everybody for joining us today at 2020 Flight Simmers. If you have any questions, go ahead and post them down below in the comments section. I'll try to answer your questions as soon as possible. The next episode uh, is going to be uh, our taxi and our takeoff, so please stay tuned for that one. Again, thanks everybody for joining us. We'll see you on the next one, and keep the blue side up.